Hello everybody, Super Mario Poke here, and today I have another Wi-Fi battle for you, and this one is against Sharpedo Files, so for those of you who don't know, my mic kind of broke, and so I do have one coming in the mail, so for now I'll just go ahead and use this one, so I hope the quality is not too bad, but I will have some music in the background to compensate for that. But besides that, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, taunt, and now I kind of have to switch out because he tripped, which is very interesting, but now he's going to switch out and go to Churchill, which is a Victini. And now I'm going to go ahead and switch out again and go back to Ridley, as I'm thinking he might switch out, the, you know, the Stone Edge, but he actually just goes for the Overheat, and I was actually fearing he was Scarfed, but it turns out he is just Life Orb, so. Um, with the Overheat, I am thinking he probably is mixed, so, I mean, I'm just going to keep that in the back of my head, think about that for later, and now get up the Stealth Rocks as he goes ahead and, you know, switches to that thing. So, I'm getting, you know, that Smeargle. So, I'm going to go to Shake and Bake as he goes for the Spore, and I really wanted to stay in to take the Spore. I was going to, but then I was like, oh, but I don't want to end up getting, like, set up on or something. So, I mean, I just decided to switch out instead of going for the second set of Stealth Rocks and getting Spore, which is what I really wanted to do, but... I just could not risk the uh, baton passing kind of set thing going on there. That's, uh, you know, that kind of thing. But, um, because, you know, basically, Sharp Pedophile, you <laughs> never know what this guy's going to bring. Because last time we battled, he brought Spec Steelix. But, anyways, I do wake up here and I go for the Thunderbolt, and that is awesome. And now, you know, it's it almost, oh my gosh, it was so close. But now, hey, at least. With the whole rock scenario or whatever, you know, I figured I'm going to switch out and I'm going to go to Ridley as he's going to Flare Blitz. And I was thinking he might Flare Blitz, like it was in the back of my mind as, I mean, why not? It'll take out the road and it'll also take out Tangrowth, which I have on this team that um, is from a Chad Grow Pack, so heart to Chad. But besides that, um, I, w I did figure that he might decide to go for Flare Blitz trying to hit the Tangrowth as a surprise, kind of like, boom, jab in the face. But now I can just go to Mortal Kombat as he goes for extreme speed. Ends up being faster, which kind of sucks, but I did take him out with a mock punch, which went second, which doesn't always happen. But he goes back to Victini and double switches into the Roserade as I switch out myself and go into Mike. Because Mike here is bulky, and I can do a lot right now. He has his Roserade. Start setting up spikes. I don't mind. I'm hoping he doesn't have sleep powder, but you know, I doubt it. It's it's all good. I mean, I just fire punch, boom, hits him. And then I get poison, so now I don't have to worry about the sleep powder, which is actually really awesome. But now you know, it's 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 all good because he's he can set up his spikes, and I can either fire punch. But I decide to body slam this turn because I figured it'll take him out and it'll you know hopefully paralyze something as he goes to his Empoleon. Now, unfortunately, I don't get the para, but I can try to get the next turn and then maybe set up some curses, you know, get that going on. And just see what I can do. And he's just going to go ahead and serve. He doesn't know that I'm bulky. I mean, look at that bulk. But with the poison, it will help him out a lot, which is kind of a bummer. But it's okay. It's okay because I mean, it's pretty much it. You know, it, it's all good because I have the curse and I have the rest, so... I will be able to heal back up as now he goes to his Rose Rage and I go for the Body Slam once more, which will take out Rose Rage. So I think he only got a one layer of spikes, unless I'm mistaken wrong, which I'm not. Um, but besides that, he goes to Churchill as and goes for the V Create. And I'm like, whoa, V Create. And I live with 40 HP, and you know what that means. I'm just going to go ahead, Body Slam, and end up, you know. Paralyzing this turn, which is awesome, as this time with the um, you know, with the whole with the whole thing that I live with seven HP because poison only did thirty three damage. I can get off a of rest because I am faster now that he is paralyzed and minus one speed, and that's awesome. That is truly awesome. I mean, yes, that is so cool because now he gets fully paralyzed, and I can just stay in. He does not have much for this guy, and then he goes to Smeargle. And I'm kind of worried, but now he just switches out. <laughs> it's all good. Um, he goes to his penguin point, which is funny because I got poison pointed by his rose rage, but really it's penguin point. But besides that, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and body slam. Hopefully, get this next para, which I do. So that is awesome. Could not ask for anything more besides body slam para. 
as you know, and I'm also awake, it's a very nice amount of HP. So I do switch out and I go to my CC no rematch, as I'm like, I uh, yes, I know I can take this, and I can sweep, because I'm pretty sure everything is either neutral or weak to fighting, and close combat's gonna wreck! So I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep this team now, I hope you guys enjoy awkward... He has Aqua Jet. <laughs> it takes me out, and I'm gone. So, I go down. Now I'm just going to go to Mortal Kombat. And I end up actually, I believe, I just go ahead and go for the close combat, knowing he has Aqua Jet. And if he goes for it, you know, might as well try to take him out and save life, warp damage. And he does get paralyzed, which is <laughs> really awesome. Because now, with Mortal Kombat, I mean, I can pretty much, you know, just. You know, clean up the shop because I have Stone Edge, which is going to take out the Epictini. Thank goodness I didn't miss. Oh, that would have been bad. But now what I can do is, you know, he goes to his NU or Uber. I can mock Punch, which is going to do a ton of damage and take him out. So I hope you guys what? See, didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> now he's going to go to Smeargle, and mock Punch is going to do a ton of damage to that as well. But he does have the focus sash because he tricked for for it earlier. And you know, focus sash. My focus sash activates on him. So now I'm just gonna go to Tarzan. I'm at first I was like, oh god, if he has the sacred fire, but we know it's set. Frick, I believe he had stealth rocks, um what was it? Spore and rapid spin. So interesting spherical set. I haven't seen that one before. Um, or at least since 4th gen, I don't know if I saw it in 4th gen, but I will give him a slight chance to, uh, go ahead and get the rapid spin kill. I'll, I'll give it to him, because now what I'm going to do is, you know, maybe I'll miss the willow, you know, but it turns out I don't, and that the burn will take him out, so he dies to burn, and that is a good game, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would encourage you to leave a like rating on this video, and Yes, like I said, my mic is coming in the mail. Hopefully it will arrive soon as it... Sh oh my gosh, it's... Uh, I, I ordered a uh, blue snowball, so it should be pretty good. So that's going to be awesome. But that's all for today, so I will see you guys later. Take care. Peace out.